The Rafah border crossing established after the Egypt-Israeli peace treaty in 1979 is the only link to the outside world for Palestinians living in Gaza. The Gaza Strip, a narrow coastal territory inhabited by 2.3 million people, has been under Israeli blockade for nearly a decade. It is very important uh, it, because there are six crossings between Gaza and Israel. All of this crossing are uh, stopped except Rafah crossing. For that reasons, it is very important to cross the individuals, not commodities, not the gods, not the vehicles, but only for the persons who want to go from and to uh, Egypt. And also when there are a lot of casual casualties, there are a lot of someone who affected by this war. The Rafah border crossing is the only route to supply humanitarian aid to Palestinians and receive the injured to be treated in Egyptian hospitals. We are talking with our leaders and they are contacting us. Everyone and ourselves are adamant that medical and humanitarian aid can reach the Strip at this difficult time. However, recent Israeli bombardment around the Rafah crossing has prevented humanitarian aid from reaching civilians. There is a restriction from Israel that they will, they will attack any convey that carries about all commodities. For that reason, so there is a coordination between Egypt and the United States and the United Nations to facilitate about the entering of these substances to Israel. Jordan and Turkey and most of the Arab countries, they say that they, say that they, will, they will bring some humanitarian aids, all these substances and all the, these stuff, they will transfer to Gaza Strip by Arish Airport, not Rafah crossing. The international community is repeatedly calling for a humanitarian corridor through the Rafah border crossing. However, Israel is rejecting humanitarian aid going into Gaza and has ordered an evacuation of northern Gaza ahead of a possible ground offensive in the coming days. Egypt, meanwhile, says it is not open to an influx of refugees, but is willing to receive casualties coming across for treatment. Yasser Hakim for CGTN, Cairo, Egypt.